today was interesting. Uh, <laughs> I guess would be the way to put it. Um, I went to the <laughs> I went to the Goodwill Computer Works store to return the wheel that we bought or that my parents bought for me yesterday and turns out that they didn't have another Momo so, so they just gave me store credit and my grandfather spent most of it on stuff he wanted and yeah it turns out I'm lucky I have I'm not even going to say it but anyways uh, I with the rest of the credit I had, I had four dollars and thirty-one cents credit after the old man bought what he bought, but he gave me cash back for the credit that he spent, which is you know, nice. Uh, I bought two games, both complete. They were both two dollars. I got the original Tony Hawk Pro Skater, complete. Disc is in, and the disc fell out. It was loosened. <laughs> I don't care. Complete. Disc is in pretty good shape. The case is cracked in several spots, but um, I'm not caring. And then for PS2, the original NBA Street. I've been looking for this for cheap, and now I finally get it. It's complete. And actually, somebody put inside the manual on a sticky note some cheat codes, which is nice, I guess. I don't, I mean, I don't know what some of these cheat, I mean, it, it even says what some of these cheat codes do. It says what these cheat codes do, so. Disc is in really good shape. Then we went to two different value villages. One of them, one was next to the computer work store on Freedom Drive. The other one was on, what was the other one we went to? The, the other value village? Central Ave, okay. The other one was in Central Avenue, and I bought ten magazines in the two separate locations. Total was, with tax on both of them, a uh, dollar sixty-one. Because I bought three at one at the Central Ave location, and seven at the uh, other one, the uh, Freedom Drive one. So. Uh, here's what I got. Three of them are gaming related. Seven of them are SI related. I'll get the SI ones out of the way. Uh, start with the oldest one. The year in pictures, 1997. I thought this was pretty cool, and for 15 cents, I might as well get it. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's really a true Sports Illustrated, but might as well. It's 15 cents, and the pages are all in good shape. So. Might as well. Then, a special tribute issue to Dale or to the Earnhardts. Uh, this is May 26, 2004. So, it's actually got pictures of Dale Jr. in his old Budweiser gear. But yeah, there's that, and I think this is all. Yeah, it's all Dale ads. Then the rest of these are newer ones. Uh, I think they're all 2012. We got February 20th, 2012. I'm trying to get all these now. Uh, Lynn Sanity. Back when Lynn Sanity was going on. February 27th with Jeremy Lynn also on the cover. And all these have, you know, some cover wear, but they're all in really good shape. This one does not have Jeremy Lin on the front, uh, and I just noticed now that it has part of the label missing, which is a bit of a pain, but it doesn't matter. Uh, this is March 5th, 2012. As you can see right there, the label is missing. Part of it. Most of it, actually. Uh, this is March 12th, 2012, with the Bounty Hunter scandal. And then... This one's got a little bit of wear on the binding, and I think the staples are starting to come undone on it. Like the side, at least, is coming undone from the staples, but it was the cover. 
but this is the March Madness preview issue, I believe. The tournament preview. Uh, does not say the date on here, but it's the tournament preview. And then the three gaming magazines I bought were two more official Xbox magazines from way back in the day, and these were from... The gaming magazines were from the uh, Freedom Drive location. I couldn't find any of them at the uh, other one. This one is March 2002, issue 4. And I believe the issue I bought before was a was indeed the first issue. And it still has the original business replies in it. Then we've got the next issue after that, April 2002. Uh, and these do have cover wear on them. And they do have, in, in the case of issue 4, or March 2002, it has some tears on it. But pages are all nice and then uh, March 2002 electronic gaming monthly I believe yeah it's got some dirt on it but I, I'll live so that was today's pickups overall pretty nice uh, I got more gaming magazines so I'm happy with that that's it later